figures suggest that almost one in three Jewish people have considered leaving the country due to racism, despite an apparent fall in anti-Semitism. More than half of Britain's Jewish community say they feel let down by the institutions intended to protect them, and 83% think the Labour Party is too tolerant of anti-Semitism. Tamara Cohen reports. In a cafe in the heart of North London's Jewish community, the conversation has turned to leaving the UK. A survey shows almost one in three British Jews have considered moving abroad because of a rise in anti-Semitism. Mandy Blumenthal, who runs a commercial property business, is already making preparations to relocate to Israel after encountering prejudice. I come from a very normal British family where my parents were so proud to be British. And I cannot believe that I'm having to do that. But I'm literally scared, not what's going to be in England tomorrow or even next year, but I think within the next 10 years it will not be tolerable for Jews here. According to a large-scale study by the Campaign Against Anti-Semitism, 31% of British Jews have considered leaving the UK in the past two years. More than a third have concealed their Judaism in public. 65% believe the government doesn't do enough to protect them. And over four-fifths think the Labour Party is too tolerant of anti-Semitism. This is despite a YouGov poll which found that anti-Semitic attitudes in the UK have been in decline for the past three years. The institutions that we rely on to protect our communities are not doing enough and this is something where we have been talking about it for years and years and the question is when are they going to wake up? Security has been stepped up at synagogues and schools but campaigners are concerned that politicians and the authorities are allowing hatred to go unchecked. Here in Golders Green, experiences varied widely. In my experience of living in London, etc., I've actually had uh, you know, a good approach from people, the fact that I'm Jewish. It's just the same argument as with terrorists when they say, don't go into central London, don't go into tourist areas, but you're letting them win. So if, if you leave the country, you're giving up. A spokesman for the Crown Prosecution Service told Sky that tackling all hate crime is a priority and they prosecuted a record 15,000 cases last year. Tamara Cohen, Sky News, North London. Let's get more on this story now. We're joined uh, from our central London studio by Richard Ferrer. He's the editor of The Jewish News. A very good morning to you. Um, how surprising are these results, given how uh, well embedded into the British society the Jewish community is, and given what a proud tradition we have of, of having made them welcome, particularly in, in recent, in the last century or so? Well, there was an EU survey uh, a couple of years ago that suggested around 20% of UK Jews had considered leaving the UK. Uh, so these numbers do broadly stand up, but there is a world of difference between considering and contemplating and actually deciding. And we've all considered and contemplated doing different things with our lives. But to suggest that so many Jewish people uh, want to flee uh, is an extraordinarily worrying number. Jewish people in the UK do not define themselves by anti-Semitism from the left wing, uh, the hard right wing and radical Islamism. They, they define themselves by the contribution they make to British society. Two, three years ago, just in the wake of the Gaza war, when you had you know, cretins walking the streets of London with, with uh, ball uh, banners saying Jews to the gas and uh, all sorts of things, 0.2% of British Jews decided at that point to leave the UK. It's hardly a stampede. And we have seen the figures going down according to this YouGov poll uh, that commissioned the campaign against anti-Semitism in uh, the amount of uh, people feeling as though they have received anti-Semitic statements from 45% in 2015 down to 36%. But I would suggest 36% are still pretty high. It is, um, but this is uh, the, the life that, that minorities, all minorities, not just Jews, have to, uh, to live with in, in the UK uh, in 2017. Jewish kids go to school behind barbed wire, past CCTV cameras and security guards. Uh, you have to remain vigilant at all times. I still think the Jewish community uh, has less to worry about than perhaps some minorities that are less assimilated, that are less part of the fabric of British society. And uh, the UK government has uh, the Jewish community's back. Uh, Amber Rudd only last year recommitted £13 million in security to the Jewish community to in ensure that it remains a, a safe environment.
environment for people of, of the Jewish faith in the UK. This is an ongoing and constant threat, uh, and it's something that we should all remain vigilant about, but I'd, I'd, I'd be amazed if, uh, if Jews in great numbers are considering leaving. Um, you describe them as cretins, the people that were walking around in the capital during the height of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and, and also talked about... Um, people coming from the left and the right. Who are, in your view, then, the people that have been performing these acts of, of persecution? Well, back in the old days, you used to know an anti-Semite when you saw him, you know, the, the, the skinheads, the jackboots, the, the swastikas. Now there is a triple threat. There is, of course, the far right. Then there's also the far left that's been emboldened by a Labour leader who turns a blind eye to anti-Semitism. And you've got the radical Islamism as well. So there are three areas here that I think the Jewish community needs to be wary of. Um, and it's a, a constant source of worry and concern. OK, Richard Ferrett, really good to get your thoughts. Thanks very much indeed.